everybody, Lewis here, Our Shack Barbecue and other things. So tonight, we're gonna do a salmon filet. And we're gonna do it up on the Pit Boss Vertical. So, what I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna actually use cedar planks. I got a special seasoning I'm gonna put on them. And then we're gonna put some butter and some lemon and some fresh rosemary. So let's get into this cook. Let me show you how to do some salmon in the Pit Boss vertical smoker it's gonna be good this is a three pound filet of salmon and what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna cut this in half but I'm actually gonna be more than half since this is a thinner end we're gonna put it like about right here we're just gonna come in and cut it Make sure to cut all the way through the skin like so all right, so now I have two fillets. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna transfer these to a pan. We'll get this. All right. So here we have our two fillets. I have rinsed them off and patted them dry. So now all I want to do is just season these bad boys up. And what I have, I have some John Henry's pecan rub all the way from East Texas. Had a buddy tell me that this is the perfect rub for a smoked salmon, filet of salmon. So we're going to give it a try here. Get it on here. Now this pecan rub is good, they say it's good on everything. Uh, beef, pork, fish, chicken. But we're gonna try it here on fish. So we'll get this other one done. And then we're gonna let it just sit for maybe a half hour while the grill comes up to temp and let the seasoning soak into this beautiful pink meat. See it's already absorbing into it. Beautiful. All right, let's go out and get the smoker fired up. Okay, let's get our pit boss going here. Let's see. Now we're on. We want to uh, get it on the grill. Set point 360. We're actually going to be cooking this at 405. So it's going to be a hot cook, but what we want to do is go ahead and open this up and let it come up to temp. So I've had these uh, cedar planks in water probably for a couple hours now, and uh, I've been flipping them over to keep them nice and moist. What we want to do is we're going to go ahead, and once the pit boss is up to temp, we're going to stick these in there and let them kind of crisp up a little bit. Kind of, you know, if there is anything bad on, burn it out. And then we will uh, put the salmon fillets on them. Our cedar planks have been going for about uh, eight minutes. It's time to get them out of there and get ready to put the salmon on. You can really smell that cedar. Mm. For the salmon, we're going to get some fresh rosemary from my rosemary garden. I'm going to take too much. I'm just going to take a few twigs here. Mm. Rosemary smells so good right now. Maybe one more. Ah. Take those in and get them in. Okay, you can really see how that pecan rub is melding into the meat of the fish. Get it set up. Get it over there on the old pit boss.
Mm. Doesn't that look beautiful? Couple of nice size fillets here. Now all I want to do is I just want to take some brown sugar. Over the top. So we have to be very heavy. A little extra sugar for these. Mm. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Hey, a little more. And what you see is I've got some pads of butter. So these are about an eighth inch cut. Goes on there. Something like this. Take some lemon. Mm. And some rosemary. Almost good looking enough to just eat like that. So we're gonna let it go here for yeah, about 10 minutes and we'll come out and probe them and see where they're at. Oh man, it smells so good out here. All right, it's been about eh, 10 minutes. Let's just have a quick look at these, see how they're doing. Salmon, we want to come out at yeah, in between 140 and 145. Let's see what we got. Uh, probably got about 10 minutes. Cut into our salmon here and see what it looks like. Oh man, I'm telling you right now, this is beautiful. Let's just take a little slice here. You know how it just flakes apart there. Mm. That is just great. Look at that. Oh, let's just sample this. Give it a little bite here. Get as much of it as we can. The flakes apart. <laughs> oh yeah. Mmm. That is so good. Look at that. Oh, that rub is just 
This is perfect, I'm telling you. Mm. Wow, that is good salmon right there. You know, it just, it's just flaking apart. It is just gorgeous. Let's see if we can get that on the camera. Take it up to that one. Mm. This is gonna be so good. Oh, I am so excited for this. All right, so, saw how we did that took these fillets I cut them in half that John Henry's pecan seasoning oh man that is so good I'm telling you right now this is a beautiful piece of salmon and it tastes mmm mmm that is good I season them up I let them rest there for about a half hour while they were resting I came out and started up the pit boss now I had my planks soaking for two hours. So after I got the pit boss going, I stuck the planks in there and kind of let them dry out a little bit. Then I went and got the uh, salmon, brought it out here, put them on the planks, put the lemon wedges on them, butter and rosemary, and stuck them in the pit boss. Now normally, it probably takes about 15, 20 minutes. In this case, it took about a half hour. Um, took a little bit longer for them to get up to 145 than uh, what it normally does. Well, I had it at 400 and I'm telling you right now, these are perfect. And it's not that hard to do. That rub, mm, I'll have a link uh, where you can get that. Um, I bought it myself, I got it off Amazon, I'll have that link. I'm not an affiliate, so I don't get anything for it. I just think it's a really good rub. Can't wait to try it on ribs. And anything else chicken mm. anyway thank you for watching you can do this too it's not that hard till next time grill on my friends we're gonna go eat and we're gonna eat good oh perfect